Have you ever felt angry, frustrated, or hurt by someone else's actions or words? Have you ever reacted impulsively, saying or doing something you later regretted? Have you ever wished you could be more calm, rational, and composed in the face of adversity? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you are not alone. We all face challenges and conflicts in our lives, and we all have emotions that can sometimes get the better of us. But what if I told you that there is a way to overcome these destructive emotions and to live a more peaceful, happy, and virtuous life? This way is called Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that teaches us how to live in harmony with ourselves, with others, and with the world. Stoicism is not a religion, nor a dogma, nor a set of rules. It is a practical and rational guide for living well, based on the wisdom of some of the greatest minds in history, such as Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and philosopher who wrote the famous Meditations. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is that we should focus on what we can control and accept what we cannot. This may sound simple, but it is not easy. In fact, it requires a lot of discipline, courage, and self-awareness, but the rewards are immense. By following this principle, we can free ourselves from the tyranny of our emotions and from the influence of external factors that are beyond our power. We can become more resilient, more confident, and more content. But how do we apply this principle in our daily lives? How do we deal with the situations that trigger our negative emotions such as anger, fear, envy, or sadness? How do we cope with the people who annoy us, hurt us, or oppose us? How do we handle the challenges and uncertainties that life throws at us? One of the most powerful and effective ways to do this is to walk away. Yes, you heard me right. Sometimes the best thing you can do is to simply walk away from the source of your distress and to focus on something else that is more productive, more positive, or more meaningful. This is not a sign of weakness, nor of cowardice, nor of indifference. It is a sign of strength, of wisdom, and of self-respect. Walking away does not mean running away. It does not mean avoiding your problems or denying your responsibilities, or giving up on your goals. It does not mean cutting off all ties with the world, or isolating yourself from others, or becoming indifferent to their feelings. It does not mean being passive, or apathetic, or nihilistic. Walking away means choosing your battles wisely. It means recognizing when a situation is not worth your time, your energy, or your peace of mind. It means realizing when a person is not worth your attention, your respect, or your affection. It means knowing when a challenge is not worth your effort, your resources, or your dignity. Walking away means being selective about what you engage with and what you ignore. It means being mindful of what you say and what you do. It means being aware of what you think and what you feel. It means being in control of yourself and not letting others control you. Walking away means being true to yourself and to your values. It means being loyal to your friends and to your loved ones. It means being faithful to your principles and to your purpose. It means being consistent with your actions and with your words. Walking away means being free from the opinions, the judgments, and the expectations of others. It means being independent from the outcomes, the rewards, and the punishments of the world. It means being content with what you have, what you are, and what you can do. Walking away is not easy. It takes courage and it takes practice, but it is worth it. Because walking away can be your greatest power, it can be the key to your happiness, your success, and your virtue. This is what Marcus Aurelius taught us, and this is what he practiced. He was one of the most powerful men in the world, but he was also one of the most humble and one of the most wise. He faced many difficulties, many enemies, and many temptations, but he never let them affect his inner peace, his moral integrity, or his philosophical vision. He walked away from the things that did not matter, 
and he focused on the things that did. He walked away from the noise, and he listened to the silence. He walked away from the chaos, and he embraced the order. He wrote in his meditations, Be like the promontory against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. These are the words of a Stoic, and these are the words of a Master. We can learn from him, and we can follow his example. We can walk away from the things that disturb us, and we can walk towards the things that inspire us. We can walk away from the things that harm us, and we can walk towards the things that heal us. We can walk away from the things that enslave us, and we can walk towards the things that liberate us. We can walk away, and we can be powerful. We can walk away, and we can be happy. We can walk away, and we can be virtuous. This is the way of Stoicism, and this is the way of life. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let them in the comments. See you soon.